Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to talk about something called thermality. Let's look at the basics of what that really means, and of course it's in context of oxidation and reduction reactions. So the official definition for molarity, uh, normality, not molarity, but normality, is that it's the number of equivalents of an oxidizing agent or reducing agent per liter of solution. So normally when we deal with molarity, we just want to know how many moles per liter solution that we have because each mole will react with another mole in some fashion. But in oxidation reduction reaction, we're not as much concerned with the number of moles in the solution, but the number of moles of electrons that will be transferred during the reaction. And so the normality has to do with the total number of moles of electrons being transferred, either donated or accepted per liter of solution, and that's what we mean by normality. So the equation then becomes normality, which we use the letter N, is equal to the number of moles of electrons transferred times the molarity. Of course, if you have twice as many moles, and each mole has a certain number of moles of electrons being transferred, that of course plays a part in it as well. So it's simply a product of the molarity times the number of moles of electrons transferred. So that's pretty straightforward. So as an example, for 0.3 molar potassium permanganate in an acidic solution where the, the manganese ion goes from a plus 7 state or oxidation number plus 7 to an oxidation number plus 2, that means for each, moles, for each mole of potassium permanganate, we have 5 moles of electrons being transferred, in this case being accepted because it is a what we call an oxidizer. It oxidizes it by reducing. And so what do we then do for the normality? So in this case, the normality will be equal to the number of moles of electrons transferred. So you can see clearly here that it would be 5 moles of electrons per mole of potassium permanganate. So it would be 5 moles of electrons multiplied times the molarity. And in our example, the molarity is 0.3. And of course, then we have N as being the indicator of what we call normality. So the units of normality is N. So in this case, 5 times 0.3 is 1.5 N. So that's how we indicate the normality, because that indicates the number of moles of electrons transferred in a particular solution where we, the solution is 0.3 molar. And it's in an acidic situation, because in an acidic solution, manganese will go from a plus 7 state to a plus 2 state. Now let's say our second example here for 0.15 molar of iron sulfate. Remember, in, in iron sulfate, in acidic solution, the iron starts out with an oxidation number of plus 2 and then donates one additional electron to go to an oxidation state of plus 3, which means only one mole of electrons that will be transferred per one mole of uh, iron sulfate. And so therefore, the normality in this case will be the number of electrons transferred, which is one mole of electrons transferred times the molarity. In this case, the molarity for this example was 0.15. And of course, the units will be N for normality. Multiply the two together. So the equivalence here in normality would be 0.15 N. So that's what we call the normality of this particular solution of iron sulfate in when they're mixed together in an acidic solution. So that's it. It's not that hard, not that difficult. Let's uh, do one more uh, video and we'll show you some examples of how to actually utilize that. And also, the normality of, for example, of potassium permanganate will not be the same if you put it into a different, like a basic or a neutral solution, and we'll visit that in, a, in the next video as well.